Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have our ASUS ZenBook UX31A laptop in front of us. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the solid state drive or the SSD drive on this model. This method applies for any ZenBook UX series. And it's pretty much the same, it's really simple and easy and forward to do this. But just remember, as after you upgrading your SSD drive, you will not have any operating system. You will need to get yourself a USB stick, a uh, 8 gig at least, and go to the, my link in the description and go to the Windows website or Microsoft website and download the Windows Media Creator tool, and it will download the Windows image. It will burn it automatically inside the USB stick, and you can just pop it in in here. And boot it up from the USB and install your freshly new Windows on the SSD drive. Alright, first thing first, you want to power off the computer completely. The tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. These are one of the best screwdriver set out there. Uh, they have the S2 class steel, which is really hardened steel and they don't go bad. We're going to be using a torque number 5. So uh, we're going to go start removing all the screws. Uh, I believe the screws on the back mid, these are the longest ones. So we start from the corner bottom here and removing the screws. These are the short, tiny screws. Also, I realized that there is only a few of my viewers subscribed to my channel. It would be really great help if you guys find my content helpful uh, to subscribe or click like button on my videos. It really helps out. And motivates me to make more videos and take requests and answer your questions. Really appreciate it. So, so far, all the screws are the same size and height. And there we go. And the uh, mid back two screws, these, are, these should be the longer screws. And effectively, yes, they are. So, those are the only two longer screws. And once we remove all the screws, you want to put your finger at the back bottom here and you just want to lift it up and just pull it upward. And you're going to see the bottom cover. You can go ahead and clean it up if you want to. So it could be really dirty. And down here, you can see the hard drive is right over here. This is a, there's a little tiny warranty label right over here. You can just go ahead and remove this one. I believe they use a Philips number zero. So go ahead and remove the screw under the warranty label right there. And then pull out the uh, drive backward. I'll leave the link in the description for the better drives uh, with a higher capacity. This is a 256K, 50, 256 gigabyte. You can put up to two terabyte if you want to. All right, once you have the new drive in here, you want to grab it and put it in 45 degree angle inside the jack. Just slide it there. And then push it towards the motherboard and put the screw right on top. Again, to do this process, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It's not necessary. But if you want to go ahead and be picky and remove the battery, peel off this tape. And then you just want to pull this jack upward towards the ceiling and the jack will get loose and the battery will not have. If you want to replace your BIOS battery, it's right here. It's right under the jack. It's a tiny battery. That's for another video. Alright, once you did that, now the RAM on these ones are not upgradable. They are integrated on the motherboard on the other side. So, yeah. Then the last thing will be to grab the bottom cover bring it over align it all right now once we put the bo top bottom cover on we're going to grab the longest screws we're going to just switch back to torque 5 put the screws don't tighten it up so you need to have a little room to move it around to align the other screws so just screw them down but do not don't tighten them up we're going to do a second pass at the end 
So it's very important to not tighten up the screws. Otherwise, it's not going to align. And one of the screws at the end is not going to match. So go ahead and put all of them in. Now we have all the screws in. You can do a second pass and just firmly tighten it up. Don't do excessive force. Just nicely let it tighten. And that's all. And that's how you upgrade your SSD drive for this uh, laptop for Asus ZenBook. I hope you liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.